Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I'm the Couch Warrior, and you are watching Unbound Season 2. This is, I don't know, I think recording Session 3. It's been a while. Uh, so we're going to jump back into it here, see if we can figure out what the heck Breezy was doing when we left off. Um... I decided to just kind of show this whole thing warts and all. So what we're going to do is is jump right back into the last save that we were on uh, for the last live stream. I'm going to look around, get my bearings, and figure out what the heck I was up to. I had uh, kind of made some special plans. I had planted a few things that I wanted to, wanted to use as part of the story. So we'll see what's there when we get in there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So hey, Gail is here. Welcome, Gail. Good to see everybody on board here. All right, let's jump into it. Um, just a few reminders. Uh, interesting thing here is that at the time that we left off with Breezy's story, she had not actually gone to the first campsite. Now, you guys have all been to the first campsite for the kickoff of the podcast. You've all had a couple of... Um, installations of the story to this point. So I'm figuring, you know, if we can take some time tonight and get her to that camp or at least close to that camp, then we'll be in pretty good shape. I don't want to go beyond that quite yet. I need a little bit more prep time for the next Tuesday live stream. I want to figure out how I'm going to approach um, that narrative before we jump into that, but I think that we can at least get her there. And then I think after we've had that experience, Breezy's going to have to just go, you know, balls to the wall to try to catch up with the rest of you guys. That's what we're going to do. But I've been offline for about four weeks now, and that has put me significantly behind. I apologize for that. My goal was to try to uh, keep up with the story here, to try to get ahead of you guys just a little bit and help guide you through some things if you were having difficulty. But uh, things such as they are, that did not work out. So I appreciate your patience. You're all forging your own path at this time, and you may continue to have, have to continue to do that. That, uh, as I get my act together, who knows? I may not ever be able to catch up with you guys. So I don't know. So we'll see what happens here. But for tonight, we're going to get back in, get refamiliarized with the character. I can't even remember things I had hotkeyed or the fighting style I was using or any of that stuff. So <laughs> we're going to have to, we're going to have to do that. Uh, a lot of times, I would like to prep that stuff in advance, uh, you know. But I just, I just haven't had time. So we're just going to get in there and have some fun. All right, so to do that, I'm going to need uh, your patience here while I get set up. So talk amongst yourselves. Hopefully I can find my save even. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it?
Okay, I think I found my last save. Holy crap, I hope this is the right one. We shall see. We shall see. Pretty good crowd out there. Not too bad, considering this is a last-minute stream. I did not publicize at all. Welcome, Cat. Welcome, Mr. The Fallen Legend. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, now. Let's see if the Couch Warrior can remember how to play Skyrim. Ooh, it's going to be exciting. Boop. There she is, Miss Breezy Baudelaire. Okay, so let's, let's recap. Let's see if I can remember anything about my own Let's Play. Um, okay, so basically what, what we've said about Breezy is that uh, she is, in fact, an exchange student from another school, right? I think we've kind of established that. And uh, that she comes from um, a school called the Order of the Divine Scribe. She is basically uh, here as part of an exchange program, and she's gotten herself a little job working uh, in the Arcanium because of her specialties with regard to books and so forth. She does some work for Urag Groshub. She's gone on some retrieval missions, uh, one of which was to get the books back from... Uh, from some necromancers and whatnot. And during the course of that, a lot of people were killed, and she was exposed kind of to a lot of violence and strange things happening, right? And she also had an interesting encounter... with a shrine of Julianos, right? There's some things there that might be of interest to her. Dang, I forgot how cute she was. <laughs> All right. So let's head up to the Arcanium. Uh, obviously, that's... She works at the school bookstore. I think we've discussed at length um, how prized, you know, campus jobs are. Not everyone can get an on-campus job. Whoa, what's going on here? Ah, jeez. Cluster of academics. Oh, another cluster of academics. Everybody's clustered up. Have you made any progress translating Shalador's work? Shalador's insights. Huh, all right. Uh, I think we've already gotten a job from him, so we have more books that we need to go out and get. Game volume boosted. I've loaded my game volume booster pack. Behold, it is the booster pack. Why is everyone clustered up here? Okay, it must be a private conversation. Ah, see, you know, there's a shrine of Julianos. An intricate piece of artwork by an unknown religious scholar. Ooh. Illusion. Let's learn, shall we? Ah, now of course, um, if you remember what we talked about last time, uh, I needed to create uh, some kind of lame excuse to explain why the college is now so much more sophisticated than it was when Breezy left it earlier. And my solution to that role-play conundrum was to basically say that, oh, look at a seashell. Oh, pretty. An ornate, iridescent seashell from the Somerset Isles. The surface seems at once translucent and opaque. 
Mm. So what I decided was that I would kind of say that as a result, level up, as a result of her success, she has been given basically upgraded security clearance and certain aspects of the college are being revealed to her that were not before. So that's what I'm saying, okay? Because we're using a mod that we did not have loaded when I originally started up the game. Um, Immersive College of Winterhold was released literally the day after my first live stream of Breezy's story. Look at all these artifacts. We're learning stuff from all of them. Awesome. See look at that? Oh, better not touch. Okay, fine. This thing we already looked at, which is super cool. Proposed model of Mundish. What's up there? Anything? Uh, ooh. <clears throat> I'm going to take whatever levels this mod will give. Okay, looks like everybody has scattered. That's good. <clears throat> All right, have we, have we learned what we can here? I think Breezy would study this map because um, we've been sticking to the roads primarily. We've started to learn our way around a little bit, but there's a lot of areas we haven't been to yet. Can't hear the sounds or the NPCs at all. How's that? <clears throat> Let me go talk to someone. You... you can see me? Of course I can see you, moron. Confound it all. I was quite sure I was invisible. Or at least transparent. All right. You got it now. You got your sound. Okay. Farewell. Mm hmm All right. Well, <clears throat> that's enough learning for now. And I believe uh, Couch Warrior has gone up at least three levels in Mixing Board as we figured out these problems. Yes. Ugh. Excuse me. All right. Difficult to admit, but Cesargo could still use some help. Ugh, everybody wants help here. Pester the exchange student. She'll help you. All right. Back to where we started. All right, let's, let's kind of figure out where we're at here. First of all, let's check out our levels. So, probably... Uh, we had been sort of, I guess, doing stamina and magic, all right? Gosh, is that what we were doing? <laughs> I cannot remember. We'll do stamina. Ooh. Ooh. Magica. Stamina. Look at that. Okay, we got some stuff we can, in we can invest now. Uh, okay. Let's have a look-see. Last word. Now, there are some things in here in Enchanting related to scroll work that just makes sense that Breezy would know. So, I think... Um, I don't know that I'm prepared to invest there yet. Snap Channeler. 
When a staff is equipped, all weapon enchantments drain 25% less charge, and you gain a small amount of enchanting experience in combat. Okay. <clears throat> Breezy is kind of an elementalist specializing in storm-related magic, so a lot of wind and lightning kind of stuff. We haven't done any fighting with traditional weapons. Um, I think on the alteration side of things, we'll probably focus mostly on magic protection or protection from the elements, things like that. Okay. And going up the ionized path, this is shock and wind spells. So that's definitely the path we're going to follow. Let's just flesh out the destruction mastery. Get that done. All right. Now, she does also... She uses the light armor, right? We've talked about that a little bit. There's nothing we can invest there. Sneak. Let's do a little sneak. Because if you remember, she has been doing that. She has been using, doing some sneaky stuff. And then let's go back to enchanting. Let's have another look here. So, uh... Scroll crafting is something that we are going to be doing. Scrolls are 2% more powerful or last 4% longer per level of enchanting. When a staff is equipped in your left hand, your attacks deal 25% more damage and critical damage. When a staff is equipped in your right hand, your spells and scrolls are 25% more effective. Secret Keeper, I think, is one that we would use. The question is, what's the best way to get at it? We could get at it by going through Staff Channeler, or we could get at it by going through Last Word. My feeling is, given her background, Last Word probably makes more sense. Um, we haven't used a lot of scrolls. I, I mean, I rarely use a lot of scrolls with my characters, but this may be an opportunity to focus a bit more on scrolls. We've definitely set this character up so that she'll be able to craft scrolls eventually. So, I don't know. Let's cancel that. All right. So, there's really nothing else I want in here for the moment. Well, let's have a look here. Restoration. All right, harsh lesson. Destruction projectile spells interrupt targets that are casting a spell. Does not work on massive targets. Mm. Um, that is my perk menu voice, by the way. My perk menu voice, merciless cold combustion. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is hold off on any more investments there until we're absolutely sure what we need. Our primary investments at the moment are in um, destruction, alteration, enchanting, light armor, and then we're starting down the sneak path as well. So let's save that perk. We're just going to bank it, and I'm sure we'll use it. Okay, so Dovahkiin relax. Yes, long stride. So Gust has been our primary weapon up to this point. All right. Maybe a good thing to do is take a look here at our options. Book collecting. We can go and get these. Uh, hedge mage. We could look for items for our next hedge mage armor upgrade, which would be good. And find a copy of this book. Reminata. Investigate the ruins of Arkanthams. Okay. 
So I think what we should do is go after some more books, right? Fort Fellhammer. Uh, Fort Fellhammer. Shimmer Mist Cave. I know where that is. Lost Knife. I think I know where that is, too. Right, so let's get geared up. Let's go do some stuff, eh? First, we got to remember... Got our shoulder cape. Hedge mage. Boots. See, we weren't using the hood. And... I think we were using this novice hood here. <laughs> I thought that said robes of recreation at first. Like, oh yeah, let's wear those. Uh, gauntlets of cruelty. Yeah, that looks like the breezy we know and love right there. All right, before we leave, we're going to make a quick stop by an enchanting table. And uh, we're going to see if there's any additional weight we can shed. this. I've had to pull more than a few strings to get this to Skyrim, given recent events. I hope it gets to you in one piece. If not, I'm sure you can work it out uh, after a uh, rummage in that Arcanium of yours. I'm assuming that is referring to this big box, which has blood splashed on it. Hang on a second, y'all. You've all seen that box now, right? Everybody's got a good view? Okay. Let's see if we can... If we've got any extra garbage we can get rid of. Uh, no, we like that. This we don't need. Big-ass sword of dismay. We don't need that either. And this other crap, we're, we're going to keep that. All right, cool. What is all this? What's this? On the orbs of Winterhold. Hello. The nature of the orbs. Oh, good grief. Valkreath teleport orb. Ah. Fast travel action. Okay. Wow. The tome describes a novel combination of enchantments and spells drawing from various schools of magic to, main to maintain subjects in a state of suspended animation. We should all hope this bastard doesn't wake up. 
So hopefully it all works. The tome appears to compare the anatomy of modern Nords with their Atmoran ancestors. Hmm. Embalming materials. These materials are being used for study. I'd better not touch them. Okay, fine. How about you? And you? Let's wash up. Okay. Cool. Holy crap. Oh, man. This mod is amazing. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Consumed fresh, the teeth merely bring about a weakness to frost-based magics, but more usefully may render the imbiber temporarily, temporarily invisible if synthesized correctly. The heart tissue of Daedra displays minor restorative properties, whilst briar hearts treated similarly elicit full-body paralysis. Ah. Did not know that one. Increased resistance to magic and fortified magicka reserves. Tundra cotton. How about you? The tome contains a catalog of Tamrielic flora and fauna with alchemical indications which information with information regarding location, abundance, and properties. Oh, that is so very interesting, don't you think? Hmm? All right, well, we've shed a little extra weight. Let's hit the road. See if we can stay alive. See if I remember what I'm doing. Welcome, everyone. We now have 21. No, wait, 22 gluttons for punishment in the stream. Oh, yes. Indeed. Oi. God, it's bright. Breezy Baudelay is back at it. Now, I'm going to, as soon as we get out of here, I'm going to take a look at our... Ah, our quest journal, and we'll just figure out which one we're going after first. Oh, oh, courier. Courier. Oh, you can't come in here. This is school grounds. School grounds. I already told you no. Uh, I have a boyfriend. No. <laughs> oh, fine. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands are in. Let's see. Ah, a letter from the car. Moving up in the world, eh? <laughs> yeah. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I don't want to date this Jarl either. Get good hang time on the ramps. Okay. So let's have a look at our quest journal here. We're going to do some book collecting. Um, so Falkreath Watchtower, I know where that is. Lost Knife Hideout, I know where that is. Shimmer Mist Cave, I know where that is. Orthime, I know where that is. Uh, Fellhammer, I think I know where that is, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm thinking we plot a course based on where we're at now. Maybe Orthheim first. Then we head towards the Falkreath Watchtower. Then from there, it's kind of a toss-up. We can go either Lost Knife Hideout or Shimmer Mist Cave. I think Fort Fellhammer is more over by up in the mountains around Solitude somewhere. Think. I think that's what that one is. Oh, chicken. All right. F5 in it right here. F5. You heard it.
Welcome, Matt Fuller. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. It's a menace. Do we deal with it? What do you say? Do we deal with it? Oh. Whoop. 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 Whoa. Gotcha. Really even see the damage I was doing, but it was happening. All right. The trails are safe. Well, for now. I find it ironic that Matt Fuller needs his Couch Warrior fill. Imagine that. I like it, I must say. I do indeed. Don't you do it. Ooh, man, our gusts are getting deadly. Oh, you too, Fox? I was trying to look out for you, man. Sorry, but I was trying to protect that fox, and he bit us in the ass. That isn't nice. You just got to protect yourself. You know, you can't, you can't take any chances. I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, I am doing fine. Um, it has been quite the up and down month for me, but I got to tell you, at this point, mostly up, um, and that's a nice thing. I have friends and family and other special people to thank for that. And uh, things are good. I'm hoping we can get back on a regular stream schedule now. So you're going to want to be looking out for Stewsday live streams. That is the plan. Stewsdays. Stay down. Stay down. You gonna shoot me or the wolf? All right. We're on the same side here. She's got to get her revenge. That wolf killed her buddy there. Hopefully uh, you guys are all doing well and hopefully things look good as far as the stream goes. Um, I've got a bit more bandwidth now, so I've ratcheted it up to 1080p. Got to just bob and weave. There we go. We overwhelmed him. Ghost. Ugh. Breezy's going to stay away from that gook, whatever that is. There are some things about uh, Breezy's movement rate that makes her almost difficult at times to play. She just moves so quickly. Um, 
Hey, fellas. Move along. Okay. Okay, now that I think about it, in this position, we're actually closer to Shimmer Mist Cave than any of the other spots. So maybe we'll go check that out. Gotta tell you, I love this character. Uh, I love her setup. I like how sassy she is. She's awesome. Oh, that's going to be a fight. Uh, we'll go the other way. Okay, so let's see. What do we got hotkeyed? Long stride was eight. Oh, man, I, I finally had these memorized when I quit before. Um, wind rune. Oh, that's the staff was at three. Okay. So, okay. Gust one, ward two. Wind rune four. Long stride eight. All right. She moves so damn fast. I mean, it's, I almost feel like I don't need long stride. However, I mean, long stride would save me from losing stamina, I suppose. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ah, good for you. Okay. I feel like the game is looking good, too. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ac I've streamed not using a secondary monitor, so I'm playing directly on my laptop. So it's a bit different setup than I normally use, and then I'm streaming through the Mac. Um, maybe this is a bit more efficient way to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know things, people. When are you going to learn? Um, so Shimmer Mist is going to be up here, not too far. We're going to have to cut to the left off the trail, but that'll get us there. We haven't been to Shimmer Mist, have we? Please, tell me we haven't. Does anyone remember? Ugh, God, I don't think so. See, the problem is I did some test play with this character, and I played ahead a little bit. I'm having trouble remembering what I played with you guys and what I played solo. So, a bit of a challenge. Oh my gosh, more elementals. Oh, yeah, she was on her last legs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hmm. What's all this? Well. The bastards have school property, so there's nothing to be done about it. She's like a library bounty hunter, right? Kinda?
Got to get ourselves some better long-range spells, I think. Oh, jig is up. Oh, no, you. Oh, man. She is super effective with these things now. You know what I think it was? I think I came through here with another character recently. Maybe it was Raiden, and that's what I'm remembering. <laughs> All right, let's move it quickly. Get up. Hmm. <laughs> I love how she just goes straight out of her attack into, you know, arms crossed, like, hmm, like she's checking it out and she's just not impressed. That's what I like about her. Just gotta find the books. Find the books. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a whole pile of them there. You guys got the books? Ooh. Could use these. That. Uh. Blister wart. We'll take a water skin as well. Oh, and we are going to take some of this glowing mushroom. We're taking that in honor of the panicked monk. He would want us to take some. So we're taking it. licks there. This is gross. Oh. Hiding books in here? Shit. No. Yeah. All right. Everybody can take a deep breath now. I have I have done the F5. All right. Okay, one of the things that uh, we will be investing in eventually is restoration. There are some restoration spells that are going to help, or perks, I mean. They're going to help us big time on those wards. So we're probably going to be doing some of that. Okay, that's 
smarts. Uh, let's do this. One of those. He hits that, and we hit him with both barrels. That's the plan. Oh, you go, son of a bitch. Oh, no, you don't. Sees us now. That's what we need. Come on, hit it! Hit it, you bastard! Oh, for Pete's sake! Sword. Oh, it's a war axe. Or is it a sword? I don't know. Ugh. Okay. Ah, there's got to be books in here. No. Ugh. Charis balls. We'll take some of those. Okay. Don't relent. Don't relent. Yes. We took one shot of that foul acid stuff, but could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have ended up like this guy. Huh. Even without pockets, they have gold. it up. Okay, we better retreat a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, let's get the high ground here. You still coming? right there. Okay. Let's burn a few of these. Hit it! <laughs> Die, you bastard! Oh, good God. Yeesh. Okay. Quick save. Here we go. Sorry, I'm not too chatty. I feel like I need to really concentrate here. I'm going to get killed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm trying not to do that. Hmm. How in the hell... Do books from the school library get in here? God. Cyclone of Destruction. Okay, let's take a look and see how we are faring now, shall we? Up we go. Uh, let's keep the Magicka going. We are blazing through levels right now. Uh, let's take a look at the magic stuff here. First of all, restoration. Let's talk about this. Uh, all right. Somewhere up in here. Okay, restoration spells are 30% more powerful if the recipient is below. Lottie, Lottie, Lottie. Shell over here. Perhaps I was mistooken. Hmm? No, 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 no. Wards are here, right? Philosopher's Stone. Once a day generates a new map. No. Mage Armor. No. Wild Shrugs. I don't know what stinking perk that was I was talking about. I know it exists. Just can't remember if it was. I thought it was restoration for some reason. But I suppose. Let's look at restoration. Tome of Looney Pages, Descending Light, Spirit Tutors.
Hmm. I do not recall. I'm going to have to research that. I don't remember. I'm going to just have to dig deeper. I don't care to do it while we're live streaming. So let's not. Um, how are we doing here? Can we get anything else here? No. All right. So let's have a look at our enchanting again. Okay. When a staff is equipped in your left hand, your attacks deal 25% more damage and critical. Then you can switch it over to your right. Spells and scrolls are 25% more effective. Okay. We'll do that. That could be fun. Okay. Now, the sneak. What I like about this one is... If we can get over here to Demolition Job, that's going to be super helpful because I, I can see I can see Breezy working spells from stealth quite a bit, which I think would be great. Okay. Light armor. Increase that a bit. And we'll keep one banked. Quick saving. All right, here we go. I'm feeling like I remember how to play Skyrim, like I'm starting to remember. Um, this will be interesting. Sparks. We've got our good friend the Crackle, too. Remember Nim? Was it Nim we called him? Or Cumulo Nimbus? <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I have that hotkeyed? I did not. So let's do the crackle in the left, gust in the right. I don't pretend to think that a crackle's going to do a whole lot to this Dwemer fella here. Okay, we put him off a bit. Book it. Oh! <laughs> we got follered. Holy shit. That was magnificent. Why am I here? Whoa! Oh, shit. That's no good. We got ourselves into a little loop here. Hey, okay, hang on. Hang on. Quick on the keys. Quick on the keys. Uh, 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 uh. Load. Quick save. There we go. Got ourselves in a fix. All right. We are going to take the crackle, and we are going to... I'm not using that, so...
Okay, I think what we need to do is save this runway here. We're going to retreat down this way because I don't think the big guy can get through here. So then we can take our enemies one at a time, right? That's what we got to do. Give ourselves a little space to retreat. We've knocked him down pretty easy a couple of times. Why that is. Hello. Okay. Come on, come on, go down, bastard. Okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah, eat it. Alright, let's back off again. And then let's commit fully to Sparks here. scary. Okay. Some minor healing. Whoop. Jeez. You're just taking a lot of punishment. Oh, that hurt. Got too close. Done. It would seem the young lady is smoking. Goodness. <laughs> yes. I should say a better strategy is in order, but I have no idea what that would be. <laughs> You know, let's see. Three. I think I don't. All right, my dear. It's time to get serious now. Go forth and conquer the beast. Come on, come on. Look at he's still getting zapped by Nim there. Oh god, you big ugly bastard. Get out of my life. See that? He tried to heal himself out of that sticky spot he was in. Woohoo! Ah! Ah! Okay. 
Let's take these sparks, and I'm going to get these on the quick bar, I think. I feel like we're going to need them here for a bit. And I feel like the sparks could probably take the place for a ward. Gotta watch that steam. I'm gonna quick save here since we got rid of that gloom lurker. Come on, short circuit, you bastard. coming. Hello. <clears throat> oh, God. He's got better range on that than I thought. Nim doesn't do a lot of damage to him, but he kind of just whittles away at him, I think. Yeah, if it if it even just eats up, you know. A little bit, that's helpful. We got a rhythm. We got a rhythm going here. Let's Go have some of that. Come on, you're almost there. Whew. Okay, he's retreating. Yeah. Oh, God. He's just barely hanging on. One more round. One more round. Oh, God, come on. There it is. Good girl. Okay, you earned your experience on that one. <sighs> He's got to have the book, right? No. <laughs> School property. Got it. All right. Okay.
All right, let's F5 here. Up we go. Okay. Uh, uh. Is this further in or is this out? I think that's further in. Okay, so Breezy, Breezy is not currently playing at legendary difficulty. What I usually do is I graduate a character to legendary difficulty as they level. So she's not at legendary difficulty right now. I think she's what at maybe default difficulty. I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Since the question was asked, let's figure that out because I can't remember. Boop. Yeah, adept. I think that's the default difficulty. So what I like to do, generally speaking, is, you know, say... You know, every 10 levels or so, think about bumping up the difficulty depending on how it feels, you know? If it feels like things are too easy, then I'll goose it a bit. All right, we got a book. Okay, from here, we could either go to Falkreath and pick up one more book, or we could go to the left here, head east... And I think that's where Lost Knife Cave is. Lost Knife Hideout. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is where I thought it was. There's a Lost Knife and a Broken Knife, I think. I get those mixed up sometimes. All right, so let's make our way down here. Let's let's go get the one at Lost Knife, and then we're going to call it a night. Um, because now that we're back into the swing of things, there's some fun things that I want to do for you guys, which are going to require a little prep time for me. So I want to prepare myself for the next episode. We're going to set up a few role play things for fun. Um, I figured a few book fetch quests would be a good way to get back into the swing of it. It's amazing, like, if, I, if I've been away from the game for even a couple of weeks, sometimes I feel like I, I don't only, not only lose track of where I am, but I lose, I just have trouble getting my head back in the game, you know? So, this has been very helpful. Uh, Jaren, you are not completely mistaken. Obviously, I played Raiden at Legendary Difficulty very early on. Um, I started him at Legendary Difficulty um, below, I think, level 10. Um... But it was a little bit different, you know, different scenario, I guess. Um, but I like to work my way up to it if I can. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're going to have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use hmm. our road. Well. I don't think so, bitch. Think of it. That sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Yeah. You really think you want to get into it with me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. All right. I think it's interesting how she can intimidate them. Hmm. 
She's done it twice now. She's intimidated bandits on, on two occasions, which I think is kind of interesting. I think it says something about Breezy, the type of person she is, don't you think? Cruising here, cruising along. Hello. The legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. That's because the legionnaires keep dying. That's why they're always looking. Okay. I smell books. All right, this ought to be interesting. All right, we're going to sick Nim on one of these guys. Then hopefully we can power up and do it again. Get them both caught up in the charge. Got one through the arm. Looks like a flesh wound, though, huh? Easy's pretty tough. She can take it. All right, Nim, that's enough. That's enough. He's down. He's down. Hey, this could be helpful. Let's take a key. Oh, this is definitely helpful. Uh, not that hungry. Oh. All right, who's next? Let's quick save here, just so we don't get too far behind if we get trashed here. I think this is a fairly large cavern. What is that? We'll take it. I don't know what that is.
Which is good. Ah, those arrows are bad news, man. I Take some of this, fellas. There you go. Take all these lockpicks. Take the lockpicks. All right. Here we go. They must have tripped this trap themselves when they were looking around for us. Enjoy. All right. Getting paid at least. Could be someone hanging out here. No. no. Hmm. No books yet either. through the hood. You down? <laughs> oh yes, these poor bandits. These poor bandits. 
Pretty soon, I think, maybe another level or two, we m will probably crank the difficulty up a bit more. Ah! <laughs> you hear that? Dumb bastard walking across there hit the rune that I cast beneath it. Ha! Ah, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. There's a lot of things that I'm planning on doing with Breezy as I pick out her her skills and spells that will be things borrowed from concepts I worked on with Shadeling. That's why I'm really looking forward to digging into her abilities at higher levels. Wakey, wakey. Ooh. Okay. Just needed him to go down before he got that shot off. Nimbus is an angry cloud. Very, very pissed. A pissed little cloud. I feel like he's got a... a chip on his cloud shoulder, so to speak. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll take the book. It's not the one we need, though. Oh, ho, I like that theory. Shadling is in that box at the college. Hoo-hoo. Ooh, I, uh, yeah, 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 I like that a lot. Oh my god. Skooma. Gross. What is this? Okay. Who hit my trap? Who hit the trap? Is there a dead guy down there? I want to know who hit my trap. There is. I think I blew him right off the, off the ramp there. Awesome. That was good. one. Let's get some magic going. For Christ's sake. I have never had the animal bite me through the bottom of the cage like that before. Crap. That is bogus, I would say. All right, we try again. Your 
<laughs> you start oh. running so I can stab you in the back. Did my cloud get him? Oh no. Ah. Woo! That was a bit more dicey than the first time through. But she got it done. All right, let's at least grab the gold. I think with all my running around and stuff like that, I, I drew two from the upper level down that didn't come down the first time. So that was working against me there. Got it done. Got it done. All right, let's get on up here. Yeah, that guy came down. He didn't come down last time. We take the book and potion. Ah, there's another one there. I missed that one last time. Squares. We'll take those. We'll save here. Can't tell if my rune is still down there. I think it is. Now, let's think this through. I didn't really put any thought into it last time. Okay, so... We got that whole area behind us. Look, Nim's trying to catch up. He can't, he can't run as fast as the enemy can. Or he can't float as fast as they can run, I guess. Okay. We got one of them out of the way. That helps. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, sit tight for a minute. Okay, okay. Let's regroup. Wonderful. Let's goose the Magicka 2. That gives us an opportunity to use that rune again if we need to. You know, I don't I don't feel like I necessarily killed all those guys. I saw a couple guys get blown over edges here, so they could very well still be lurking around. So let's not be overly confident here. We don't know for sure. Okay, we got a 
lots of books here. Hmm. Which one is it we're looking for here again? The Rise and Fall of the Blades. All right. Got that big nasty guy in there. There it is. Got it. It's painting. those two to fight each other. Hopefully. Oh, I think the cat polished him off and then the cat came after us, so... All right. Well, we got the book. We got some goods. Uh, I think we kind of picked the place over pretty good here. Oh, here we go. Better search everyone. Gold and passions, of course, must have passions. All right, awesome. The continuing adventures of Ballsy Breezy, I would say. I like it. I like it. Oh, yes, a math chest behind the waterfall. I forgot about that. Yes. Perhaps we'll find something good in it. Like a staff or or a ring or a uh orcish dagger. Which we don't need. Which I seem to always find orcish daggers everywhere. Come on. Ooh. close. Hey, we really scored this time. We got a... Oh, shit. Ah! We got a tickle on the lock right away, which doesn't always happen. Oh, for crying out loud. It's not gonna matter! Uh... Let's try an experiment here. Oh, for crying out loud. That's even worse. Okay. Over, over, over. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Freaking.
I just used 10 picks. Of course. Scroll of Oblivion Unbound. Invokes a holy rage in a summon or raised creature, granting 200% attack and movement speed. It heals 10 points per second, lasts 187 seconds. Excellent. I didn't want that. Breezy Baudelaire does not require this chopper. Okay. Well, good deal. Good deal, friends. Well done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Now it ain't over till it's over, right? See? I'm telling you. Okay. There's more of them here. Up. Up. Those guys up there are clueless. So let's boogie on out of here while we can. We got what we needed. Yep, books are soggy. Luckily, Ureg Grow Shub gave us a magical bag that protects them from all moisture, fire damage, mold, mildew, and all of those things. And we're wearing it right now, as you can see. It was issued to us as part of our job. So, see? You can overcome anything with role play, my friends. That is that. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to save here. This is where we'll probably pick up next time around. All right. And maybe next time around also we'll think about increasing the difficulty. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, I am very glad to be back making some videos. Um, it's, it's only been four or five weeks off, but... Uh, it's felt like an eternity, so it was good to kind of jump back in. I want to thank you all for helping me out here, uh, for following the channel, and for jumping on my streams with no, almost no advance notice. Uh, I had 23 people on the stream, 24 people on the stream tonight, which is actually pretty good considering I gave no notice, no advance plan whatsoever. Now, the plan is every Tuesday night is Tuesday. So if you want to see a Skyrim live stream of whatever character is current in the Unbound series, come to Couch Warrior TV on Tuesday nights starting at 6 p.m. Central Time, and we will be playing for three to four hours and just having a good time. And my plan going forward is to produce these as videos. So uh, there are people who weren't able to attend the stream tonight, obviously. Unfortunately for those folks, this, these will not be made into videos, I don't think. Um, it just depends on how the YouTube footage looks. Right now, I don't have the ability to save my footage locally. And until I figure that out, until I get it sorted out and I can do it well, uh, it's going to be live stream only for a little while. Um, so I'll go back and have a look at these and see if there is a way to uh, make them into videos of decent quality. If it's not of decent quality, then I'm probably not going to bother. But I wanted to thank you all for, for coming tonight. Um, so Joe is producing the podcast from last night right now. It should be out within the next couple of days, and then we will be launching uh, installment number stu two of the Unbound story after that. Thank you all very much. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do that by going out to patreon.charactercrusade.com. Also, you will find all the information about our various podcasts, all the programs we're running, uh, with regard to um, Unbound. And if you're interested in getting involved in Unbound, there is plenty of time. There 
are no level caps. There are no specific rules or restrictions. We're just giving you some story to follow. Uh, so season two is is a great one to jump into at any time that you want to. You, know, you don't have to be in any particular spot in the game in order to enjoy the challenge. So I would invite you to do that. If you want to find out how it works, you can go to unbound.charactercrusade.com to look at the current play rules and then listen in to our Unbound podcast season two, uh, the kickoff episode, and then episode number two will be coming out later this week and you can get all caught up. Thank you all very much, everyone. I, I, I just appreciate the support so much and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.